What's up gamers, Red Dragon here, and we are talking the news. So, with Titanfall coming out, there is a lot riding on the game. And not only does Respawn, the developers have a lot riding on it because it's their first game, but also Microsoft does, because of course it's exclusive to their console, but also this is the first real game to test their cloud. And of course Microsoft has talked about the cloud for a while. Whenever Titanfall was first being uh, discussed and talked about at E3, they discussed how Microsoft servers were going to scale up based on the number of people who wanted to play the game. So Microsoft has this cloud system or servers based all over the world and if you're in a certain location and you want to play a game then the system is supposed to start up as many servers as are needed in that particular area to handle the load. So with the Titanfall beta this was actually the first game to test this. And so both the PC and the Xbox versions are going to be using Microsoft servers. And uh, there was actually a problem early on. So whenever the Titanfall beta first released, um, there was a period where it did go down for about seven and a half hours. And they said there was a large load on it and it wasn't scaling up right. There was some bad coding. They went in there and they said, look, this is what a beta is for. They want to make sure whenever the game releases that there aren't any major problems. And they said they want this launch to go off without a hitch. They said that's their number one priority to make sure that whenever you put in the game, everything works as it's supposed to. And they said during the beta, they had 2 million people, 2 million unique people log in and play the game. And they said during that time period, they found 10 issues and problems that they were able to fix and are going to be able to fix in time before the game launches that they wouldn't have known about unless they did this beta, they said. So they said that they got all that fixed. They said whenever you are, you know, one of the guinea pigs and you're one of the first ones coding this and launching this, they said you're going to run into issues that, you know, other people later on down the path, you know, may not have because you've been able to sort through them. So uh, they said everything is looking good. And I have to say that after I was playing the beta, you know, I spent several hours on it. And I know a lot of other people did too. There were very few moments that I had where I had any trouble with any lag or stuttering or, or anything else of that nature. And, and for the most part, as long as the system was up and it was running and I could actually log in and play, whenever I was actually playing, I was pretty pleased with the gameplay and I definitely didn't feel like there was any server issues with there being any bullet lag or you know hit detection problems or anything else like that. So the game felt really good in that aspect of it. And uh, so this is definitely going to be a test for the Xbox Live system and for Respawn and their games. If you want to know more, link will be down in the description box that's got this story on Titanfall, what they were looking for in the beta, and what they accomplished. Post below, let me know, did you have any trouble on Microsoft's servers during the beta? That does it for me, the Red Dragon. Subscribe if you're new, if you want to stay up to date with the latest news as it happens, and drop a like for me on your way out. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.